dear children today we will do exercise 6.5 of unit 6 that is decimals in this exercise we will be adding and subtracting the given decimal numbers by writing them in column forms so let me just tell you how you can do that suppose we have a number 8.9 and 1.6 and we have to add these numbers okay so what is the first thing that we need to keep in mind the first thing is that write the numbers such that the decimal points are one below the other and the second thing is that convert the numbers into like decimals before adding and regroup if required so let's get started part a is 8.9 plus 1.6 so first of all you write the first number that is 8.9 then you put decimal of the second number and then whatever number is before decimal write down that number before the decimal point okay then whatever number is there after the decimal write it after decimal because this is the tenth place okay so now you can add so here we can see that the decimals decimal points are one below the other now let us add these numbers now 9 plus 6 is 15 so 5 we will write here and now we have to regroup it so one will get carried over here so now decimal will be here below the decimal point now 8 plus 1 9 plus 1 carry will be 10 so our answer is 10.5 now the next one is 15.38 plus 14.75 so how we can do this let's do it first of all we will write 15.38 after that put decimal write the decimal uh, the numbers which are after decimal and before decimal so if you are writing the numbers after decimal then you have to move towards your right and if you are writing the numbers before decimal then you have to just move to your left side okay so after decimal the next digit is 7 and after 7 the next is 5 now before decimal the digit is 4 and before 4 it is 1 so this is how you have to place the decimal numbers and decimal point should be one below the other now 8 plus 5 13 One carry will be here. Seven plus three, ten plus one carry is eleven. So again, one will get carried over. Now decimal point will be below the other decimal points. Five four, plus four, nine plus one carry is ten. So again, one will get carried over. One plus one, two plus one carry is three. So thirty point one three will be the answer. Now the next one. So let us write the first decimal number that is twenty nine point eighty three. Then let us put the decimal point after decimal. The next digit is nine, and there is no more digit. So now before decimal it is seven, and before seven it is one. Now here we can see that the decimal numbers are not like decimals because for like decimals after decimal point on the right side there should be equal number of digits or decimal places so here we have two digits and here we are having only one digit so we will put zero on the right side of the last digit which is given in the decimal part because it does not change the value of the number so now we have made them like decimals so now we will add them so Here we have three. Eight plus nine is seventeen. So one will get carried over. Decimal will be written below the decimal points. Now nine plus seven. Sixteen plus one is seventeen. One carry. Two plus one three plus one carry is four. So forty seven point seventy three will be the answer. Now next one is part D forty one point five one two plus sixteen point seven nine eight. So let us write the first decimal number. 
then we will put the decimal point then the number after the decimal point 7 then after 7 it is 9 and then the last one is 8 now before decimal it is 6 and before 6 it is 1 so this is how you will place the decimal numbers properly now let's add them 2 plus 8 10 so 1 will get carried over 1 plus 9 10 plus 1 carry is 11 so again 1 will get carried over here 7 plus 5 is 12 and 12 plus 1 is 13 so again 1 will get carried over now decimal point will be there below the other decimal points 1 plus 6 is 7 plus 1 carry is 8 and 4 plus 1 is 5 so 58.310 will be the final answer now let's move on to the last sum of this question now first of all we will write the first decimal number that is 12.867 then we will put decimal and then after decimal it is 4 and after 4 it is 9 then before decimal it is 8 now these are not like decimals because after decimal point here we are having three digits and here two. So let us put a zero here on the right side of the last digit of decimal part because it does not change the value. Now let us add these numbers. So here we have 7 and 6 plus 9 is 15. We will write 5 here. 1 will get carried over. 8 plus 4 is 12. 12 plus 1 is 13. So again 1 will get carried over. So decimal will be below the other decimal points. 2 plus 8 10. 10 plus 1 is 11. So again 1 will be carried over here. Now 1 plus this carry 1 will be 2. So 21.357 will be the answer. So dear students you need to keep two things in your mind. First of all, write the numbers such that the decimal point, uh, decimal points are one below the other. Second, convert the numbers into like decimals before adding and then regroup if required. So this is how you can add the decimal numbers. Now let's do the next question that is question number 4. Write in column form and subtract. Dear students, the method of doing subtraction is same as it was in the addition sums that is you have to write the numbers such that the decimal points are one below the other and you have to convert the numbers into like decimals before adding and then you have to regroup if required so the method will be same the only difference is here you have to subtract so let us write the first decimal number then we will put the decimal and then Either you, if you want to write the numbers before decimal, you can write that one. If you want to write the numbers which are after decimal, you can write that one also at first point. So, in whatever way you want to write. So, let me write the number after the decimal point. That is 7 and after 7 it is 2. Before decimal it is 3. Now, let us subtract. 9 minus 2 is 7. 8 minus 7 is 1. Now, there will be decimal below the other decimal points and 4 minus 3 is 1. So, 1.17 will be the answer. Now, part B. Let me write the first decimal number. Then, I will put decimal before below the decimal point. Then, after decimal, it is 3 and after 3, next is 2. Now, before decimal, it is 6. Now, let us subtract. 3 minus 2 is 1. We cannot subtract 3 from 2 because subtraction is simple subtraction. Okay. So, we need to borrow. So, here it will be 7 and here it will become 12. Now, 12 minus 3, 9. Now, decimal below the decimal points. 7 minus 6 is 1 and here also we have 1. So, 11.91 will be the answer. Now, let us do part C. First, I will write the first decimal number. Then, I will put decimal point below the decimal point. Then, after decimal, the first digit is 2. After 2, next is 3. After 3, next is 8. Now, before decimal, it is 7. And before 7, it is 3. See, placement of decimal numbers is very important. Now, we cannot subtract 8 from 6. So, we will borrow. 2 will become 1. And this 6 will become 16. So, 16 minus 8 is 8. Now, again, we cannot subtract 3 from 1. So, we will borrow. This will become 2. And this 1 will become 11. Now, 11 minus 3, 8. 2 minus 2 is 0. 
decimal below the decimal points we cannot subtract 7 from 5 so we'll borrow this will become 3 and this will become 15 so 15 minus 7 is 8 now 3 minus 3 is 0 so 8.088 .08 will be the answer now let us do the next part part d First of all, I'll write the first number. Then I'll put decimal. After decimal, it is 6 in the second number. Before decimal, it is 8. And before 8, it is 1. Now, we can see that these are not like decimals. Because here we have two digits after the decimal point. Here we are having 1. So, we need to put 0 on the right side of the last digit of decimal number. Because it does not change the value of the number. Now we will subtract. Here we have 6 minus 0 that is 6. We cannot subtract 6 from 2 so we will borrow. This will become 2 and this will become 12. So 12 minus 6 will be 6. Now decimal below the decimal. Again we cannot subtract 8 from 2 so we will borrow. This will become 1 and this will become 12. So 12 minus 8 is 4 and 1 minus 1 is 0. So 4.66 will be the final answer. Now the next part. First of all, I'll write the first decimal number. Then I'll put decimal under the decimal point. After decimal, it is 7. And after 7, it is 3. Now before decimal, it is 3. And before 3, it is 1. Now before starting the subtraction, we need to see whether these are like decimals or not. So, these are not like decimals. These are unlike decimals because here we have two digits after decimal and here one. So, we need to put zero here after the last digit of the decimal number because this zero does not change the value of the number. So, now we can subtract. So, we cannot subtract three from zero. So, we'll borrow. Six will become five and zero will become ten. Now, ten minus three is seven. Now, we cannot subtract 7 from 5. So, we'll borrow. 9 will become 8 and this 5 will become 15. So, 15 minus 7 is 8. Now, decimal point below the other decimal points and 8 minus 3 is 5. Now, 2 minus 1 is 1. So, 15.87 will be the answer. Now, the last part of this question. First of all, I'll write the first decimal number. Then, I'll put the decimal below the decimal point. After decimal, it is 9. After 9, it is 1. And after 1, it is 2. Now, before decimal, it is 2. Now, before starting the subtraction, we can see these are not decimal numbers. So, we'll have to put 0 here. The reason you know. Because by putting 0 on the extreme right side of the decimal number does not change the value of the number. So, now we can start the subtraction. We cannot subtract 2 from 0. So, we'll borrow. 1 will become 0 and this 0 will become 10. So, 10 minus 2 is 8. Again, we cannot subtract 1 from 0. So, we will borrow. 5 will become 4 and 0 will become 10. Now, 10 minus 1 is 9. Again, we cannot subtract 9 from 4. So, we will borrow. This will become 1 and this will become 14. So, 14 minus 9. 5 is the answer. Now, decimal below the decimal point. Again, we cannot subtract 2 from 1. So, here we have 0 and here it will become 11. So, 11 minus 2 is 9. So, the final answer is 9.598. So, dear students, I hope you would have understood how to do the addition and subtraction of decimal numbers.